Hello, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs, and today I am sharing prompt number four, which is Tuck Spot, for the Junk Journal January 2024. And um, this is my junk journal so far. There's the first page, second, third prompt. And this one will go here. This will go on the back of three. This is the next signature. I'll just take that out for now. So this prompt will go on the back of the third page. And um, I'll just show you the things that I have chosen to use for this page. And um, this is just a piece of cardstock that I cut um, about five by seven inches to go on here. I think my pages are five by seven and three quarters approximately and um, I'll be using some of this wrapping paper which is um, a birch bark wrapping paper and um, this leaf which is a, um, a like a laser cut or a die cut leaf that's all white but I chose to add some color to it and um, I'll be making some tags to go in the tuck spot here and uh, let's see I have a couple of wooden letters that I'll be using and um, I have some old um, almanac, al almanac pages and I'll be using some text from those I have quite a few of those and they're they're really nice I like the I like the vintage look of these images on them. So I've taken a piece off of this one and I'll be using some of that. And I may use some of this paper. This was, um, I had gotten some ribbon, some vintage ribbon and it was wrapped around this paper. And I thought it was interesting. I like the color and I just stamped some images on there with uh, these little stamps. They're just the little, um, Clear stamps. I chose the Lily of the Valley to put on that. Um, and I'll also be using this moth, which I cut out of a, um, a scrapbooking page. So this little moth will be appearing on there as well. And I don't know if I showed this. It's a piece of um, vellum that was actually used when I purchased these to separate the different designs and um, I liked that so I'm just going to fold that and use that as a tuck spot. So I'll stop the video here and come back with the process and I will speed it up for you uh, to see how this page turns out. Be right back. So here I am just adding some art glitter glue to the back of the page that will be um, the background or the backdrop for what I've chosen to put on this page. And I love these colors. Um, I love that kind of a, almost a Tiffany or duck egg blue. I just think it's so pretty. And then the ivory with kind of antique tones. Um, the images on the back of this page kind of bump up a bit and it, it didn't glue down thoroughly. And here is the birch bark gift wrap that I am choosing to use on the page. I love this paper. I love birch bark. And um, I just think that will look nice. It, it will kind of go with the nature theme on this page. And this laser cut leaf, I think I'm using some antique linen, distress oxide on there, just to sort of uh, tone down that white. The white was a little bit stark for me and um, I thought I would just warm it up a little bit with some ink. Uh, yes, antique linen. And then I, I think that was walnut. A little bit of walnut on there just again to bring in some color, a little definition to the leaf. It's such a such a pretty leaf. There, I have other leaves too, but I, I do love the maple leaves. 
And that looks nice with the birch bark uh, gift wrap. Those colors tie in nicely together. So I'll add the birch bark to that corner as if it's been kind of peeled away, revealing this page and applying some glue. These laser cut shapes are kind of tricky to get glue on all the little um, little tiny cutout lines. Um, the glue, if you're not careful, it can glob up and come through to the front, but um, I have to say that the tip on the art glitter glue is very nice. It does really make this easier, and it doesn't really need that much to, to hold it down. Just a few little dabs and a few key spots holds that down. And I like the way that's looking so far. Here's my vellum piece of paper that I folded probably in thirds um, to for the tuck spot. And I'll be putting that on the lower right portion of the page and nicely enough that art glitter glue seems to really disappear when you spread it out it does seem to go away and I'm just gluing down that bottom <clears throat> little bottom edge there on the tuck spot so that nothing does fall through and I love that moth I think it's beautiful and it also goes so nicely with the birch bark page of the birch bark gift wrap. Uh, that is also from a scrapbooking, I think it may be Stamparia, but um, just cleaning up that wing a little tiny bit. There was a little pointed edge on it and good old art glitter glue. It really really does the trick. It really holds well. So I love that. It looks as if the moth has landed on some birch bark or a birch tree. And here are the tags that I've decided to put in the tuck spot and I've chosen some flower fairy images for them. wasn't crazy about these tags um, but I knew that not a lot of them would be showing through. Um, so I thought I would add some text from the almanac pages on them. Not being, um, not doing too much with paper, I don't really have a huge selection of tags. So these seem to work fairly well for what I wanted. And just gluing down the flower fairy image. I love, love, love these images. I just think they're so pretty. And I decide to add another piece of the birch bark gift wrap to the lower portion, lower left portion of the page. I uh, just felt that that balanced it out nicely. It kind of needed something there. And I didn't want to bring in too many elements um, and have it just be kind of chaotic. And I'm, here I'm just tearing out a, a um, one of the stamped images of the Lily of the Valley from, I think this is an antique um, adding machine tape. That's what it appears to be. So, and I love the color of it. It, it really goes nicely with all of this. And that'll be another little tuck spot. And so now I'm gluing this down. I should be paying more attention because I glue that third edge and shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so I had to correct that. But it, it all worked out in the end. My little kind of tuck spot or pocket worked out nicely there for the Lily of the Valley image and um, I believe that's Walnut Distress Oxide that I'm using there. 
And I just like the way that that defines the edges of uh, something that's torn. Um, I like the way that looks. I think it's just kind of gives a nice accent. And here I'm just adding some blue. I think this color may be denim. I'm not positive. Um, I just like the, the little touch that that gives that. And those are the two little wooden tiles that I have that I'd like to use on here. And the FF stands for Flower Fairies. And and that kind of that correlates with the little images on the tags. And I'm not crazy about the way that these tags look. I don't like that top. Um, I I don't like it's a little bit long. And I just sort of refine the shape a little bit, not at first. Kind of looks like a tooth shape there. A molar. Oh, please pardon my little dog, Piper, has decided to join in with the dog next door, Brady, sparking. Apparently he sees something. Piper. And again, just sort of refining the shape. They still look like a molar to me. <laughs> but I do I do kind of fix that. They look better. <laughs> In the long run, they do start to look better. And now I just go in with some ink. Again, I like to just kind of make the edges look a little bit more distinctive, show up a little more, give them some interest. Not necessarily to make them look vintage, but um, to add a little bit of interest to them. And I take that top portion of the flower down a little bit more here. Yeah, that's a, that's a better shape. Not so molarish. <laughs> um, oh, and it may need a little more. It may need a little more refining, but finally we get there. And so they can go right in the tuck spot there. And then my page closes miraculously. So that's nice. And I'm just kind of staggering them to see what they look like so that you can see each tag. And now I will be gluing on the um, wooden tags. And I love them. I, I feel like they tie in with the theme of the birch bark, uh, the wood, and also the colors, and also uh, the little flower fairy images on the page. So that is my page. So this is my completed page. It's um, all finished. I'll give you a little close up here. I love all the elements on this page and I love these colors. These, this is my color palette that I love. Um, and I did go back and refine the shapes of these tags a little bit more so they didn't look so much like molars. <laughs> They already had a curve on the edge, so I thought I could do a curve on top, but it, it just didn't look right. So I did go ahead and uh, reshape these a little bit, and I hadn't noticed that they were just plain, uh, just white on the back of these tags. So I added some a little bit of text paper from the um, almanac pages that I had. And um, I, I love these. I think that they're so cute. They're not necessarily for journaling, but just just to look at and enjoy. And um, when they're out of the, the uh, page, I love the look. It's such a serene and peaceful looking page to me, and I love that. It, it um, definitely speaks of nature to me. Um, and But it's pretty with the tags in there, too. And then I have, of course, this other little tuck spot with the Lily of the Valley stamped and some blue 
on the edges blue ink and some brown just to sort of bring in that background color a little bit which ties in this ties in with the leaf and of course the colors in the birch bark and the flower fairies um, little wooden tiles which also tie in with our flower fairies here so this was a fun page i really really enjoyed this very much so thank you very much for joining me and i'm wishing you many blessings i'm catching up slowly but surely i'll see you in the next video bye for now